I want to show you how to use the Purdue OWL website to help your APA citation ability. So first it's owl.purdue.edu. This is the main page. You're going to scroll down until you get to research and citation and under that you'll see APA 7th edition and you can just go to um, whatever you need at the time but we're going to focus on in-text citations and the reference pages. So if you scroll down you'll see the basics of in-text in citation and you'll want to read through this um, but there's there's lots of um, information about just basic basic um, citations altogether. But now if you go to the authors that's going to show you how to cite different a different number of authors for your in-text citations. Um, I think there's three or more authors, two authors, one author, they're, they're shown on here. And it's pretty straightforward there, uh, but just read through that to make sure you understand it. Now if we go to the reference page, this is just the list of the basic rules for the reference page. Please read through that. Um, it's also really helpful to go to the sample paper for the APA style, but if you read through this, it's going to help you tremendously. Make sure that you're doing this correctly um, and getting cre getting full credit. I am a little bit more lenient at first, but after you've done this the first time and I give you feedback, you should know how to do it. Okay, now if we go to the list of authors the ref for the reference list, there are way different ways to cite um, that's a single author, two authors, and then three to twenty authors, and then twenty or more authors. Now that's changed from the sixth edition where it was um, anything above six authors, but now it's it's three to twenty. You have to list all of them out. Now we're wanting to cite articles that are in journals or periodicals. So this is how you're going to cite your references for your final paper. And it's fairly straightforward. You have the authors, the title, uh, the journal, the volume, issue, page numbers, and then the DOI um, URL. If there is a stable URL like that JSTOR one, that's fine. But do not use the proxy east one that's just um, highlighting your highlighting the um, address in your document because it's it's just too long and you can't access it so if you're outside of IU the person wouldn't be able to access it. Now on the front page you can also look at avoiding plagiarism because sometimes we have problems with that in this course. Um, you need to not plagiarize because you will get a zero if you do on the assignment even if it's the final paper if it looks like you're plagiarizing that's I'm gonna give you a zero so but please use the Purdue OWL website it's very helpful and I hope that it makes it a little bit easier for you to cite in APA 7th edition style